What's up guys, it's the Fix Brother, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be rebuilding this electric scooter that has a cracked frame, and is super stretched up, ripped drip tape, bad tires, and the motor doesn't sound really good. So here's a close-up of the crack. The stem is super loose. You guys can take a look, it's like super loose. We're going to have to weld that in. And then there's a bunch of scratches all over. The grip tape is ripped. The tire is completely bald and this wheel makes a really weird noise. So we got a new motor on the way. And then I'm also gonna order some adjustable air suspension for the back. You guys can take a look at it. When you jump it, this one's not really good. There's barely any suspension travel in this. So I'm gonna have to get something better, something adjustable. It's so stiff that it's cracking the actual. Yep, it's so stiff. The actual frame in the back yeah. is cracking, but Hopefully the welder guy is going to weld it in better than it was originally. So this scooter has about 2,500 miles and I've owned it ever since it was new and it's about time for a rebuild. So the last thing I'm planning to do is body fill the scratches and paint it. Let's get into it and start this assembly. So right now we're going to have to start by removing this cover, getting the module out and the battery, removing the stem and shipping it to the bare frame so we can bring it to the welder and get it welded in. Alright guys, so we have to take off that entire headset, all the bars, everything, in order to take out the battery because the bolts were in the way, but now, hold the, hold the um, frame, let's see, that's a 48 volt, 22 amp power, oh crap, oh, uh, hopefully this is a pretty damage. lightweight battery, I'm actually surprised, and here's the frame guys, and we just, dropped. oh wow, careful, you're gonna um, yep. battery. I heard all that. Now it's all in pieces, guys. All right. Yep. So now let's set up a time lapse and strip everything down completely. Let's let's start with the rear, right? So we got everything taken apart. Here's what the scooter looks like all in pieces. And it looks pretty sick. Like hopefully someone will be able to make a bigger battery for me so I could get more range out of it. If you guys know how to make a battery, please hit me up. Maybe one day I'll make a battery upgrade. Maybe someone can make the same size battery but with more amp hour. 20 That's a 22 amp hour, yeah, maybe. 48 volt and 22 amp hour. So yeah guys, this is what the scooter looks like. All dismantled. So the frame is back from getting welded and the welder guy got all this welded in really well. Probably better than it was originally because he added more welds on the inside. He also welded the back because there were some cracks like we showed you earlier. But I think this is going to turn out way better than it was originally. So all that's left is to body fill, prime, paint, and put the scooter back together. So let's get started with body filling and priming. Alright, so I already applied... I already applied one coat of body filler over everything. I sanded it down and I applied the second coat. I'm going to let this dry for like five more minutes and then sand it down. All right, so I'm recording on my phone. So hopefully the audio in the video is not too horrible, but I got everything body filled. I got everything cleaned up and I think it's ready for the primer. I got the primer prepared. So I'm going to get the gun ready and start spraying in the primer. All right, so the first coat of primer is down and it looks really good. Aside from a few little drips I had on the sides here, you guys can see them. And I'm gonna put down a second coat and let's see how this turns out. I put down a third coat, but there's still some scratches that you can see. But this is the bottom. I'm mostly concerned about the scratches on the top here because you're definitely gonna be able to see them and I want that primered in. So I'm gonna give it another coat and then if the scratches are still visible, I'm gonna have to just pour some primer over it and then sand it down and see how that. All right, so Tim's sanding the primer on the deck and smoothing it out, getting it ready for paint, right? Mm-hmm. 
good. Yeah, it doesn't sound bad though. Yeah. So I hung it up on that light over there and I sent it all the primer so everything's really really smooth right now. Everything's really good. Sand with 600 grit. I gotta wipe down with alcohol so that there's so that we don't get any fish eye. And now I'm gonna start spraying with this matte finish paint. and it's all dry. I put the headset back on, I added some grip tape and you guys can take a look at how the paint job turned out. It's a little bit dusty now because it's been a week or two since I painted it, but it looks really, really good. And then I added some thicker bolts here so that it doesn't fall apart again ever. And I put the headset back on. So now let's get everything assembled and take it for a test drive. the assembly and we put about 120 miles on it and it rides pretty good right now we still didn't get the new shocks in but those are still on the way it's been over two weeks since we put it back together and then we already got some scratches on it because I had a friend who didn't know how to use cruise control to, who rode it and kind of crashed it but that's all good so now we're gonna take a quick road trip to the lake and see how the scooter drives on a long trip it's gonna be about 11 miles and we're also gonna take these two backfires with a, a couple of our friends we're gonna also test drive them we already put about 100 miles on each, probably more than that, um, but we're gonna take them on a road trip too. We got to the lake safely and, and we had to make a few stops to charge up the boards but the scooter made it here without any additional charging and it almost has a full battery left. So that's pretty awesome. It has a really good battery with the new motor. The new motor I think might even be more efficient than the old one. And we've been looking at some of the jet skis here and they look pretty fun, right? It'll be kind of fun to own one. Yeah, maybe buy one. Maybe off Cobra, yeah. Crashed one and fix it. Alright, but now let's, let's pack everything up and head back home. So we got back from the lake and we're all sunburnt. The scooter did really, really well. Um, the battery only lost one bar, which is amazing. We drove like, what, 30 miles, maybe even more? Not 30, well, probably around 30 miles. Yep, yeah, did about pretty good. 30 miles. And the scooter seems to be pretty solid right now other than a few of the new scratches that we introduced to it right there. And But the main thing was the motor. We got that done. Yep, the scooter will so, run for another year. So yeah, that's, that's it for this rebuild. If you want to see more of this type of content, please go and subscribe to our channel down below and comment what you think we should have done differently or how you would have done it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we're going to end it here. We'll see you guys in the next one.